Do you think this shot was filmed with a drone? Then you are completely wrong. This is just a simple image that turns into a fully believable fake drone animation, using the magic of AI. No drone, no expensive gear, completely free. This technique is changing filmmaking, and it is a real secret weapon for travel videos, commercials, weddings, and even YouTube vlogs. Are you ready to create cinematic aerial camera moves without a drone? Hi everyone, my name is Iman. This is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to a new tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. To start this exciting technique, we need two key images. The first image is the ground shot, where we are still on the ground and the flight has not started yet. The second image is the same scene, but now the drone has lifted up and is watching the world from above. But if you do not have these images, do not worry at all, because I am going to show you how to easily extract these frames directly from your own regular videos. First, open your favorite editing software. It does not matter if it is DaVinci, CapCut, or Edius, but my professional recommendation is Premiere Pro, because it gives you more flexibility and control. We create a new project. Choose a name, select the save location, and click create. Now we import the video that we want to add the aerial shot to into Premiere. With a simple drag and drop, we place the video on the timeline, so the sequence is automatically created with the exact resolution, aspect ratio, and frame rate of the original footage. Now we move the playhead, or CTI, along the timeline until we reach the golden moment the exact first frame where our flight is going to start. Once we find it, we click on the camera icon, or export frame. We give it a name. Set the format to JPEG. Choose the save location, and click OK. Just like that, our first frame is ready, and our flight officially starts from this point. Now it is time for the exciting part, preparing the aerial shot. You need to choose your location, and here everything depends on your taste. It can be an aerial view of your own city, or a famous tourist destination on the other side of the world. To get this image, you have two great options. The first and easiest way is simply searching on Google Images. For example, I search for an aerial view of Hong Kong and choose the image that I like the most. But here is a golden tip. To get a flawless result, I strongly recommend upscaling the image using AI websites like Better Image, IMG2Go, Let's Enhance, or I love IMG, to massively boost quality and detail. As you can see, the upscaling process is very simple. You just upload your image, choose between the 2K or 4K option, click on upscale, and then you can download the final image. But if you want something more professional and completely custom, let's go for the second option, generating the image with AI. I am using the Leonardo service, which gives us 150 free credits every day. I enter a prompt like create an aerial view of Hong Kong. In Leonardo, I go with the lucid realism image model. I set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9, push the image size to large, and leave the number of images set to 1 so everything stays simple and clean. And click generate. Boom, our custom image is ready. Look at the result, it is honestly stunning, with crazy details. By the way, if you want to fully learn how to use Leonardo, or master professional image upscaling from 0 to 100, I have full tutorials on my YouTube channel, Imandlobal, so make sure to check them out. I am using three images here. The first image shows the character walking down the street. The second image is an aerial view of New York City, and the third image shows the same character in a new pose, taking a selfie. Now it is time for the real madness. We go straight to the Kling AI website and quickly log in using one of the Google accounts already on our browser. The cool part is that right from the start, it gives us 166 completely free credits to generate videos. From the left menu, I enter the video creation section. First, I set the video generation model, and video 2.5 turbo is a solid choice. I make sure the image to video tab is active. Now I click on start frame, and upload the first image, where the character is walking on the street. I click on end frames, and upload the aerial drone image. 
Now I paste the prompt that I prepared for you, and placed in the video description. This prompt tells the AI to move us from the first image to the second location, with a cinematic drone-style camera movement. If you want, you can turn sound effects on or off, and with these settings, I click Generate. After a very short processing time, the video is ready, and let's watch the result together. This is pure magic. Without spending money on expensive drones, we now have an insanely cinematic and realistic drone-style animation. That looks so real, it shocks the viewer. How about we take this even further? What if we continue the camera movement from this aerial shot, and fly into a completely new location, where the same character is waiting, with a different pose and style? To extend the cinematic camera movement, I go back to image to video, and click start frame again. But this time, I upload the aerial shot first, to make it our starting point. Then I go to end frames, and select the new image of the characters, in a different location, with a new pose. I already prepared the prompt in advance, and I just paste it into the prompt box. So the AI understands it needs to smoothly dive from the aerial city view, down into our new location, with a cinematic motion. I hit generate, and after a quick process, boom, the video is ready. Let's watch this insane FPV style move together. Now it is time for the final boss, editing in Premiere Pro. I double click inside the project panel, and import both generated videos. I drag and drop the first one onto the timeline, so the sequence is created with the correct settings. Then I place the first video, followed by the second one, back to back, to complete our flight chain. Look at the result. It is absolutely stunning. Once we are happy with the edit, it is time to export. I click export. Choose a file name, select the save location, set the format to H.264 and the preset to full HD. And that is it. I click export, and a few moments later, our animation is ready. Even though we call it a fake drone, the result is so realistic and natural, that it feels like a professional quadcopter actually captured these shots, and it instantly grabs every eye. All prompts are available in the description. Hey guys, if you want to see full Premiere Pro filmmaking and editing tutorials, Type Premiere Pro in the comments. The more comments I get, the sooner I'll make it. Now it is time to smash that like button. In the next tutorial, you are going to see things that will truly surprise you. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a new tutorial. AI is the future. Embrace it today.